Yo, howdy. What's up? It's Wizard Foo bringing you another video making the game Wraithbinder, the multiplayer songbringery battle game. Uh, okay, so what we're working on now is some boomerangs, all sorts of fun items like that, like boomerangs, bombs, um, teleport pads, things like that. Just stuff that I can throw into this uh, battlegrounds and make things a lot more interesting. I also want to take these, uh, right now you can just kill these pillars instantly. I want to make those like wither over time. There's so many little things I'm like in the process of doing right now that are really going to help the gameplay. And it, and what's remarkable is I'm not even had to do any animations to make it feel immediately better. Like, for example, just adding the knock knockback recently um, really made the whole uh, fighting a lot less Rochambeau-y. Like before, the... the Two players would f just face off like two AI. They'd be standing it right next to each other, just hit, 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 just like hitting each other like cavemen, Rochambeau, and uh, it um it looked really. Let's just there it is, there it is. There's a Rochambeau bow in progress. Wait, that shouldn't be happening anymore. Why aren't you guys? What the heck was that? What that was so weird. But anyways, the knockback was supposed to have cured that. I don't know what that was. But it does make a big difference having the knockback. So, uh, so that's pretty easy, right? But let's look at some of that math for knocking back. It just applies a velocity. So, um, these it's a lot of math here to get these to like one vector. Basically, all all this is establishing is the vector v, and then there's v two and v three in this math, and that's just computing uh, the two vectors between the current entities um, and the and the entity that's causing the hit. And also the entity that maybe parented the cause of that hit. So sometimes you throw a boomerang, and the boomerang has an, a credit ID to the uh, original entity. So that's why sometimes you have an, um, two different vectors you can use for um, causing the knockback. And this just blends them together. And then also applies speed and its mass factor. And, uh, and then it does the knockback. A lot of this code I've been refactoring from Songbringer. There's just a tiny few changes in the engine for this game, but they cause me to have to basically refactor everything. Um, so um, my point in saying that is there's some things here that sh could be better. For example, I did a lot of sh scheduling things before a certain tick in Songbringer, and I'm kind of wary of that. You know, that always causes issues, like because like what happens if that scheduled function doesn't happen? What happens if uh, you pause the game and it cleared all those kind of functions and, and all of a sudden uh, you, you've you lost it. You can't do it anymore. And another thing is in the input system, you have using the button and releasing the button. And you can't really rely on releasing the button because sometimes you are in the middle of a battle and you're doing play, pressing all these buttons and then all of a sudden the release for one of the buttons gets missed. So I'm trying to figure out the some more rock-solid deterministic ways to... Uh, handle some of the things so it's kind of a good thing that I'm refactoring this code right because I want to my goal is to be able to use this for Wraithbinder but also reuse this for Songbringer 2 when I come to that point like in a year or two once I'm to that point where I can start a new game um, I'll start Songbringer 2 and use this same engine so I want this to be really well thought out like every little step of it um, there's just needs to be better uh, make things easier to use the second time so uh, instead of having to try to figure things out and unravel things and refactor things, I don't want to have to refactor anything for the next game. So that's why I'm trying to think of the best way to do it now. So um, that said, there you have it. Another video. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.